The Sharpshooter 2 is a 100Hz compatible light gun for the Sony PlayStation 1 and 2. It supports both GunCon modes and normal gun mode. It was distributed by Joytech. Another version supports the Microsoft Xbox. This controller was the final entry into the Sharpshooter series. Just like the Sharpshooter Pro models, it is based on the Walter P99, but it differentiates itself with a bright orange muscle brake. What makes this controller special is the removable red dot sight. Because of it, the controller reminds me a lot of the arcade light gun, which was used for semi-sports shooting USA. This gun used a fiber optic based analog red dot sight. The red dot sight takes 5 volts DC from two contacts in the rail on top of the gun. An actual red laser is used. The light is a bit weak, but nonetheless well visible. The sight is just powered if the gun senses the CRT screen. Sadly, the rail obstructs the iron sights and thus the player can't aim while the red dot sight is removed. One pair of A and B buttons use rubber actuators and are very far back on the gun. They are so far back that Resident Evil gun survival like games wouldn't work well with this controller. A second pair of A and B buttons are in the middle of the gun, but their identity is swapped relative to the buttons mentioned before. That means that the middle button on the left hand side is B rather than A and vice versa on the right hand side. This second pair of button relies on push button switches and is therefore stiffer. The C button on the heel of the gun sadly is a bit wobbly, which I found annoying. Buttons for start and select are below the rail. On the left hand side is the switch for the gun mode and another one for the fire mode. Normal, auto reload and auto reload plus auto fire are the available choices. The capacity of the reload feature is 7 shots. The gun reloads upon the 8th trigger press instead of firing. A circular d-pad is located beneath the back side. The trigger uses a clicky full size micro switch. I found it uncomfortable regardless as for the very sharp edges of the trigger piece itself. Overall the build quality is high and the used mold sports fine details. The board design looks tidy and well assembled. Sadly the used controller IC which is a pick doesn't seem to have aged well and doesn't work reliably anymore. It's not uncommon to find the pick stuck in a non-defined state regardless of switch setting and light input. Personally, I got mine back into a functional state by connecting all three connectors to a console and messing with all settings and buttons while aiming at the screen. This is generally not a smart idea and many gun manuals warn the user not to connect the USB cable and the PlayStation controller connector at the same time. In all three gun modes, accuracy and precision are very good. A narrow dead zone at the bottom of the screen is present in all modes. Each mode changes the functions of the buttons. In normal gun mode, start is mapped to the start button and special shot is mapped to select. The C button can be used for off-screen shoot reloading. The RCA jack has to be connected for the red dot side to work. In gun con mode, C can be used as a second A button, but the behavior is not exactly the same. For example, in time crisis like games, the auto reload feature won't interrupt a pressed A button to bring the player behind cover, but it will if C is pressed instead. In GunCon mode, there is an additional narrow dead zone at the left hand side of the screen. In GunCon 2 mode, all buttons work as expected. Personally, I don't like the Sharpshooter too much. While it is arguably the best entry into Joytech's Sharpshooter series, this title doesn't say much, as these controllers aren't great anyways. The red dot sight is a nice novelty, but that the design sacrificed the iron sights for it isn't a great trade in my opinion. I am not happy about the location of the primary A and B buttons and it puzzles me why they were swapping the button identity in the middle of the gun. Combined with the lackluster reliability of the Roll Sharpshooter range, I can't recommend this controller at all. The box uses the same blurry image of a man pointing a gun, as Joytech used on the box for the wireless arcade light gun, which I have shown in episode 153. 
This is curious, as the letter is based on a Colt 1911 rather than a Walter P99. What the man is holding isn't a sharpshooter too for sure, as without red dot sight he wouldn't be able to aim. At least two kinds of box designs existed, one closed and one in a see-through blister. This is the end of the review, my name is Ben, I thank you for viewing.